welcome to the Sequoia Spotlight. We are at the LD Micro Invitational here at the Four Seasons Hotel in Westlake Village. I'm Carmel Fisher and with me is Mr. Ron Dutt, CEO of Flux Power Holdings. Welcome. Thank you, Carmel. Glad to be here. Wonderful having you. So you just recently had your presentation here at the, at the conference. Um, before you jump into how that went, tell us more about what Flux Power does. Sure. Flux, we're located just down the road in North County, San Diego, manufacturer, developer and manufacturer of lithium ion battery packs, uh, large ones, anywhere from 200 pounds to over a ton. We sell the forklifts, the trucks on the tarmac, a number of other adjacent verticals that are included in our PowerPoint, which is uh, you can find on our website. Excellent. Um, a lot of things happening in the market, right? I don't have to roll through all of them. Yeah. Tell me what you're doing to counter the challenges you're currently facing. Well, like everybody else in the Western world, uh, the challenges come from the supply chain disruption and COVID that we found. Uh, we're working through them. Uh, for us, it's been a matter of working through them with solutions and actions that we would take anyway as part of our trajectory of becoming the supplier of choice to Fortune 50, Fortune 100, 500 companies uh, that uh, want to rely on us for long-term relationship. So we have to build scale. We have to provide uh, a wide range of support to them. It, our business is not a transactional business. Our customers are looking for us to be a long-term supplier, provide product quality, innovation, service, quality, and, and doing what we say we do to be a long-term supplier with them. So, so with regard to the supply chain problem, it's ensuring we have good suppliers, we build scale, we get better pricing, we continue to evolve our product. We've pioneered, We've been pioneering this product. We were first mover in this sector. Uh, so continue to evolve that, continue to have core technology and capability and manufacturing capability and service to do that. Excellent, excellent. So you've touched on some of the solves you, you're looking at. What are some of the, the biggest uh, strengths of the company? You know, one of the strengths is getting into this early and being a first mover and pioneer and having to develop the relationships with the equipment manufacturers, for example, Toyota material handling, Crown Equipment, and, and particularly all the other top 10 uh, to become a supplier to them. So, so it's, this business is like any business. I've been in a lot of them. It looks pretty simple from the outside in. You get in, there's a lot of complexity and things, your depth of understanding and also depth of relationship and particularly credibility that, that you have to have. So we've, we've gotten good feedback on that uh, and can, to um, engage in the foundation building we've been doing for, for eight years involves all of those things I mentioned earlier that really go to being a supplier that uh, in a long-term relationship for these companies. Yeah, makes total sense. Um, tell us about your, your key executives and, and your board of directors. Um, highlight some of the, the greatness about them. Well, I started this thing, uh, geez, it's almost been 10 years with eight other people and myself. And we're now at about 125, 130 and been able to hire the people that I believe are the right person for the right job. Uh, the kind of caliber of people that can face off with these large OEM equipment OEMs and also our, our customers. So uh, a lot of people tell me, you know, you've got a very strong uh, team for where you are. And I said, that's good because I got them, not for where we are. Uh, we want to be a $100 million company in the, in, in, in the near term. And I got people that know how, how to get there in all of our functional areas. And then with regard to our board, we uplisted uh, over a year ago in August, which required to, to ensure that we had good balance uh, with our board to provide input to myself and the executive team. Right. We just brought on a new board, mer board member, Chimen Bo Lin, who has great expertise, depth, and credibility in emerging growth companies. So it's pretty exciting because 
we're looking at going into uh, uh, adjacent verticals uh, to, uh, to uh, support our scaling up. Wonderful. So how do you support your clients or customers with their own sustainability and ESG efforts? You know, the ESG is interesting. We just did our first draft of our ESG G report because we know it's very important. There's a lot of ESG funds that look at us and go, oh, lithium, um, uh, sustainable, better for the environment. We replace lead acid and propane, right. which are high carbon contact. We save our customers tons of carbon dioxide. So, so that's kind of a calling card by itself. It's kind of, I, I don't want to say gives us a hall pass on ESG, but it, it really, along with the kind of culture that, that I've built over 10 years, that, that uh, coming, coming from a small town in the Midwest and also Ford Motor Company, right. um, I've brought on the kind of culture, values, respect, trust, that, that, that pays off with all of our constituencies, including our investors. Excellent, excellent. I'm very curious about you, Mr. Dutch. You seem like a very interesting man. Tell us more about your background and why did you choose this industry? You know, I don't know. I'm like a lot of a lot of people. You don't you don't really talk about myself, but I will say <laughs> that um, I started out at Ford Motor Company in finance and had a number of years there. Uh, great training grounds uh, to to learn what good management's about, what also what strong values are and how important it is. I went off from there uh, to be CFO of a number of public companies. You've heard of uh, DHL. Uh, Fritz Companies, which was bought by UPS, which is a heavy freight division there. Right. So I had a lot of the Visa. Right. You probably have used the Visa credit card. Oh, yes. Well, I was a finance <laughs> guy there globe, uh, for the global operation. Uh, some electronics companies and uh, have the benefit of being around the block a few times with a lot of different companies. And I think it's that, that experience, that breadth of experience that I, that I bring here. Um, I, I had no idea I, I could be a good fit in an emerging company after that background. Um, most people need huge staffs and, right. and and everything else, but I found it to be one of the most energized. Somebody in Wall Street said, Ron, you're a builder. I go, oh yeah, I guess maybe maybe I am. And to me, it's, been, it's an exciting journey and the journey re really is just getting the kind of traction that I always knew it could. A lot of these things, it takes a little longer depending on your strat strategic objective. And uh, we know what ours is. I'm thrilled to be here. Wonderful. Well, I think that's a, a really great compliment, calling you, know, calling you a builder. Um, it's definitely constructive, right? I see that you were also in the United States Navy, and you were discharged as a, an honorable lieutenant or an honorable discharge. Uh, as uh, a honorable discharge, <laughs> that means I didn't get into it. I, 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 uh, I, I was... Um, uh, certified to, to run the ship and the destroyer, and I didn't run it aground, so I got an honorable discharge. Wonderful. I mean, that must have been quite a another highlight in your life, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Amongst many other experiences I'm sure you've had. What life lessons would you like to impart to our viewers? No, life lessons, that, that, that's, that's a big question. I'd say one of the things that's been uh, core and central to our company that outsiders see, that impacts them every day, uh, the kind of values of re uh, respect um, and respecting everybody in the company. If I can learn something from everybody on the floor, even people who are, who are clean the building, you can too. And that's how I want you to treat everybody in our company um, and uh, all of our suppliers, all of our customers, and our investors uh, too. And uh, because to do what we want to do, we have a very aggressive charter and strategy. You got to build trust. It, it, it has to. It has to reside on trust, and with that goes respect, but also competence. If you don't have the right person in the right job, if they aren't competent, it's a problem. So bringing those things, I think, are are central that we live with every day to our success. Excellent and very well said. Yeah, I always like getting little nuggets of wisdom from you know people like yourself who've had very remarkable careers and, and backgrounds and achieved quite a, a lot. So you know. I, I'm sure your business can only thrive having you as part of it. Thank you. It's an exciting time. Just yeah. packed all the headwinds we have. It yep. actually makes us a better company. Yep, 100%. Resilience is what is called for during these times. Um, please give us some key takeaways for our viewers about um, the company and what they can look forward to in the near term. 
Yeah, uh, we're playing the long game here. We're building long-term relationships with these big companies that we keep, that we layer, that we build scale, and also go into adjacent verticals. So I think keep an eye on us. Uh, profitability is our number one near-term objective that we have in this market. It's essential. It's always been part of our uh, strategy, uh, but certainly very near-term now. And uh, with that, we'll put us in a position to enable us to actually grow faster. Um, I don't, we have no intent to dilute any shareholders. That's not the game we're playing. Our game is profitable growth and leveraging the foundational elements we put in that we spent, honestly, a lot of time and money doing. But I think it's the right thing to do. It's why the number five forklift company in the world is, I said, well, why did you pick us, the private label? I said, well, you do the thing, way, things we do. We build for the future. We do what's right. You have the kind of values. You put the foundational pieces in place, and you just aren't looking for quick revenue wins. So that's right. what we're doing. Excellent. Um, just quickly, where can they find more information on Flux Power? You know, our website, Flux Power, has a lot of information. Um, and uh, you're always welcome to reach out to our IR people or company people that have um, contact information on our website. Excellent. So that is the ticker on NASDAQ FLUX Flux. With me is Mr. Ron Dutt, and this was a fantastic conversation. It's Flux Power Holdings, the CEO with me right here. And um, we had some great nuggets of information there and wisdom. Uh, stay tuned for more.